Hi, I'm Nancy Marchand Martella, and I'm the Dean of the College of Education at Purdue University. I'm also a 1985 Purdue University graduate. Today I'm going to be reading one of my children's favorite stories. It's called uh, Madeline, and I know it's a thick book, but I'm going to be reading the first uh, story that's in this uh, book. So I hope you like it. So it's entitled Madeline. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread. Oops, there we go. And brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines, in rain or shine. Which one would you rather be in? I think I'd like the sunshine one. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow and ice. Do you like winter, snow and ice? I do. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. You can see she's walking up on the bridge. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone and dialed Danton 106. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. And a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. See if you can see the rabbit. The crack in the ceiling looks like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so 10 days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? So all the other little girls want to go visit Madeline. Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door tiptoeing with solemn face, with some flowers and a vase. And the word solemn means they're very serious. And notice they all have flowers in their hands. In they walked and then, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. Look at all the things that Madeline had gotten when she was in the hospital. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar because she had her appendix removed. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread. 
brushed their teeth, and went to bed. And in the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. Look how fast she's running. And she said, please children do, tell me what is troubling you? And all the little girls cried, boo hoo. We want to have our appendix out too. I wonder why they said that. Maybe it's because of all the toys that Madeline had gotten. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. And that's the end of the first story in Madeline. Again, this was my children's, uh, one of my children's favorite books and my daughter's book, favorite book. So thanks for listening. Good night and hail Purdue.